Good morning, Luther Jackson. I'm Cooper Shealy. And I'm G. Sean Amore. We are in Homestretch LJ. Keep up the good work. And good luck with all your projects and tests this week. Now, here are the announcements for today. Congrats to band, orchestra, and chorus for an amazing in-school concert yesterday. The performances were amazing. We have such a great performing arts teacher here at LJMS. Way to go, Mr. Woodson, Mr. Clucker, and Ms. Bailu. You did, prou you did LJMS proud. Now stay tuned for a video all about ostrich racing, including an interview with our own Matt, Mr. Matt. Hi, I'm Cooper Shealy, and today we're talking about ostrich racing. This is ostrich racing, and this is also ostrich racing. The only difference between these two is that this was how they played back in 1893, and this is how they play today. Ostrich racing is a sport where people race each other on the backs of ostriches. Ostriches have the fastest land speed of any bird. Ostrich racing is common in South Africa and in the United States, particularly in Chandler, Arizona. Now moving on to our interviews. So have you ever heard of ostrich racing before? In fact, I have, yes. Uh, I have actually ostrich raced before. Uh, how was it like ostrich racing for the first time? So uh, when I was little, I was age four to age six. My family moved to Johannesburg, South Africa, and we lived there for two years. And uh, we went and saw ostrich races, and they let us come out and sit on the back of the ostriches and try it out. So when I was about, you sit, you sit on the back of the ostrich, and they put the wings like over your legs, like the little, you know. And then you got a hold on this like strap, and then they take off and they run around in circles. These birds are fast and they're strong. Um, I remember being a little scared at first, but um, yeah, it was, it was pretty fun. They also let us stand on top of ostrich eggs because they're like super strong and you can actually like stand on them and don't break. So, that was so cool. would you ever like try it again sometime? Yeah, I'd do it again. I think I'm a little too big now probably. Like at the time I was only six years old. I don't know how much an ostrich can hold. I don't think it holds somebody my size because usually it's like smaller guys that are riding on them. But it was cool. I'd do it again. All right. Thank you. Thanks to Mr. Smith and Jackson Journal Media Com class for all their awesome picks. This has been Cooper and G. Sean. Have a great day, LJ. And remember, we, we roar, roar as one. one.